Ha! Huh. When did this get here? Eyes to see. Maybe when I visited that strange place, the veil hiding this pope was lifted. <laughs> Yeesh. Is she even seaworthy? I better fix it up before trying to sail anywhere. Should I repair the boat? She cleaned up nice! Oh, but now what? I could get in and try floating in the lake in circles, but I think the Farseer will know what I need next. I fixed up the boat, but I still don't understand. There's nowhere for it to go. You'll be needing a charm to prove your fealty. And where would I find it? It was your great aunt's boat. Ask her. Do I gotta tell you everything? How can I ask my great aunt if she's... D <sighs> Never mind. Hello again. Oh, uh, I was hoping you'd be out. I, uh, uh, found some of your grandmother's papers inside my workshop. They must have gotten dislodged from the journal she had me fix up. You know, you look sort of like someone I... <laughs> yes. Uh, well, all of us look like other people, statistically. Anyway, scribbled on one sheet is a list of ingredients for some ritual item. Very strange. Yes, very. Well, I'm off. Lots of books to sell. Lovely chatting. The title is... Charm, Fealty to the Fair Folk. <gasps> this must be it! I see something. Here goes nothing.
Terra, you've returned. I knew you could do it. And I knew I'd seen you summer before. I live in milk water my foot. It's the wild boat. Huh. And look, the wildling. Ah, Terra. Do you have the customary charm? Oh, ah, uh, here it is. So what does this do, anyway? Oh, if you break the charm, it reveals your location. A <laughs> fascinating little gadget. And if you ever endanger our secrecy here, we will know exactly where to find you. But where am I exactly? Oh, where are our manners? Yes, you're in Ravenwood Hollow, our hidden little home. You already know me as a human, but under the moon, I take a slightly more wolfish form. You may call me Perry. I'm a fairy, and I run the apothecary. <laughs> what? It's not even that funny. We've met, of course. <laughs> oh, but not formally. I'm Zephyr of the Grimspark Goblins. I'm Ariel. I would like you more if you were scaly or furry or had wings, but you'll do. Wow. I've never seen this place on a map of Fairhaven. Technically, we're not in Fairhaven. This place exists between a point in the human world, that's Fairhaven, and a point in the Fey world, the gloaming. Don't tell me. Another place everyone failed to mention. Come speak with me later. There are things about the Fey world you must know. So you are the Fey? Yes, and we don't let many into our home. Not even all witches. But you brought me here during the summer festival. Actually, we haven't been able to untie that particular knot. What Zephyr means is none of us brought you here. We still don't know how it happened. Great. Love that there's a unsolved mystery centering around me, being flung through space-time. Ooh, <laughs> spicy! Just like your grandmother. Now that you've been formally received into Ravenwood Hollow, you can come and go as you like. Just remember, never reveal our existence to anyone. I've lost more loved ones than I care to speak about. I still see them sometimes, though. Oh. You mean like in dreams? Sure. there, I have wondrous ankles. This is my watch post. I keep a lookout for wild animals who may be wounded or otherwise in danger. Come visit me if you ever want to learn how to commune with all of nature's creatures. You've never been in a real apothecary, have you? <laughs> this isn't some pharmacy run by mortal doctors. Careful what you touch. I work with sensitive ingredients. I will. 
promise. By the way, what exactly are you, Perry? A pixie? I am a fairy. <laughs> to call me a diminutive is an insult. Sorry. Sorry. I have a lot to learn about Ravenwood Hollow. <laughs> now that is a fact. Oh, if you ever need potion supplies, come visit me. My ingredients are the finest in Ravenwood Hollow. I will. Were you born in Ravenwood Hollow? Not at all. I grew up in a tiny town in Alaska, and my parents are decidedly human. The story of how I ended up here is quite complicated. I just love meeting new witches who grew up outside Fairhaven. You must have so many stories about the city. People keep thinking that, but my life has been a thousand times more exciting since moving here. yet? Thank you so much. I can let the kids have their bikes and skateboards back now. Wait, you actually did confiscate them? They listened to you? People always do what I tell them to do. Is that strange? Anyway, here's something for your efforts. Thanks. <laughs> Here you go, one fish stew. Well, that smells just fine. I thank you. Here's some more of that crystal ball potion. You'll need it. Sorry, I couldn't help with the milk and honey for your friends. Ah, no worries. I'm sure they won't take it as an insult and cause mischief to the town. Morning, Tara. Any chance your grandma may have passed down any folk remedies for ailing cattle? No, why? Is one of your cows sick? Well, that's the thing, I just don't know. She's not producing milk, but Dr. Syed checked and said she doesn't seem to have an infection. I may have forgotten to feed her once, or twice. The animals get sick if you forget to feed them? Apparently! And I can't get a vet to come in from off-island for at least another week or so. I just wish someone in Fairhaven really knew animals. Let me know if you think of anything. I'm 
may know someone. Ariel, do you know any remedies to cure sick animals? Hmm, I might. Who's it for? A pequeño woodland creature? No, a farm animal. Ah. Perhaps freedom will cure what ails her? But the magnificent bovine does not deserve to suffer due to her owner's neglect. Gather some coconuts from the beach. Make this potion. That should set her right. Oh, and you'll need this. I'll give it to you this one time, but in the future, you can buy more from me. Although, I do hope you tend your animals well enough that you won't need it. Hi, Thomas. Enjoying town? Had business. Only reason to come to town. You going towards the woods? You ought to be careful. I spent a lot of time in those woods when I was a kid. I know them well. But it's easy to lose your way. There are others in those woods at night, and I don't know what their intentions are. Thomas, I appreciate the warning. But how do you know the people in the woods at night are even trying to cause trouble? If they're not up to anything, then why wear masks? A logging operation tried moving to the island once, but Lena's dad and my dad organized the town folks to fight them off. Now those woods ought to be left in peace, in honor of my dad and hers too. Not that he remembers much these days. I'll be careful. That's all I ask. Try giving this to your cow, Marty. Wow. What's in it? A secret wild family recipe. Well, thanks. I'm going to try this right now. soak for that medicine you gave me worked a miracle Mona Lisa is back in action just look at this fresh milk oh and here you should have this for your trouble, too. Happy to help.
Hey there. Thanks for stopping in. What made you decide to become a butcher? My parents own a restaurant back home, and I hung around the kitchen and learned what I could. What about you? Is this your first time working with food? No. I worked in a kitchen to help pay my way through college, and I have the burn scars to prove it. See? <laughs> <laughs> Gnarly. Ah, it's a small price to pay for culinary greatness, am I right? I like the freedom of running my own place. Kinda miss the chaos of the kitchen, though. Ribbing the line cooks and shouting over the banging pots. It's too quiet here sometimes. Well, if you want to just give me a call, and I'll come and clang pots over your head anytime. <laughs> okay, it's a deal. <laughs> This is wonderful. It will help me make the Consciousness Center even more inviting. I can't thank you enough. Hi, Sophia. Good job, Astera. Have you seen Juliet? She was going to help me, but I can't find her, and I'm running out of time. We are not going to abandon all our family traditions because Giacomo is gone. I agree, Sophia. Family traditions are important. Let me help until Juliet arrives. Oh, that would be amazing. I I'm almost done. Just one or two more things to finish. Hey, Mom. Sorry I'm late. There you are. Well, I'm glad you made it back in time. Luckily for you, I had Tara to keep me company while I waited. Tara, will you join us? Oh, no thanks. I should get back to the farm. Good night. If you were harvesting the bounties of nature and taste a berry only to find it bitter, you spit it out. This is only natural. It is our bodies protecting us from the dangers of poison. And so, when our community is faced with the bitter malcontents, we too 
must spit them out for the safety of us all. We'll be able to fix up this barn, no problem. But you'll need to clear out all the trees and rocks from the area I've roped off. Got it? You come back and let me know when you've cleared out all the trees and rocks there, and then we can talk business. Okay. I'll get started fixing up that old barn right away. Should only take a day or so. my silk then here it is homegrown mulberry silk oh fantastic and i appreciate you letting our worm friends take the time to hatch from their cocoons on their own fancy joining me for the first flight sure see the balloon is set to pop at just the right altitude then the parachute brings it safely back down so we can read all the data neat if this launch is a success, I might give it a go in that strange forest past Parker's workshop. Reckon there's plenty to see over there. Ah, uh, thanks for your help, Tara. I know I'm new here, and it was right decent of you. Here is your animal. Now, what would you like to call her? Buttercup. Mm-hmm, that's exactly what I was thinking. I've just finished analyzing my first set of barometric readings. They suggest there's some sort of pressure barrier around the island. There really is something odd happening here. Tell me, have you noticed anything dodgy about the weather since you've arrived? Weather? What? On Fairhaven? No, no weather here. <laughs> <laughs> There's weather everywhere. 
I have to get to the bottom of this. What was grad school for otherwise? Sometimes I wasn't certain I'd make it. But now, here I am, in my own weather observatory. Oh, listen to me, Ramble. You're very kind, Tara. Come back anytime. time. <laughs>